Okay, we're at the stove now, and what I have is my pot. I have a little over two cups of water in this uh, measuring cup, and my two cups stop here, stop right about there. So I went a little bit over to allow for uh, the boil to take place because, because some of the water is going to evaporate. I also have my baby oil and I have my mineral oil. This mineral oil is thicker than baby oil. It's also heavier than baby oil. The mineral oil gives the base the tackiness and the baby oil gives the base a little more looser feel so I like to balance those two oils out with the cup of, with the two cups of water that you saw to make my blend. Okay now that we've talked about our ingredients we're going to pour our water into our pot. Now I'm going to take my mineral oil and with that I want half a cup of mineral oil. So using my measuring cup I'm going to pour a half amount, half a cup of mineral oil, what you see there. Okay? I don't need too much oil because too much oil will make the base excessively soft and when you go to tweak the base later the prongs on the base will be so tender that when you go to press with your pliers you'll smash the, uh, the prongs to a point to where the base will be useless so now I have now my baby oil and I'm going to pour half a cup of that so I should have a total of one cup of oil by the time I'm done. So I pour a little more in there. Got a three-fourths cup. A little bit more. Okay. Let's touch more. Okay. We now have an entire one cup of oil total. I'll set that down for a moment. Put the cap on our baby oil. Now, I already have two cups of oil in the pot. So one cup of oil total is going to give me three cups of fluid. Okay? So we have half a cup of baby oil, half a cup of mineral oil. I'm going to pour that into our pot. You also want to make sure your pot is clean. You don't want to have any other thing in this pot other than your water and your mineral and baby oil. Now with my basis, I have a Tudor Frosty Base. Total Team Control Frosty Base. I also have a Tudor Invisibase. This is going to be an experimental base. I'm not sure how well these bases are going to boil, so I'm going to test this one. The Frosty base is ideal for boiling. This plastic is very resilient when boiled. I also have the Tudor Rookie base. This base is not a Frosty. This is a typical Tudor base. I have three of these rookie bases. I want to see how well these boil also. So now I'm going to start my heat going to get our heat up. I'm going to turn our stove on to get our boil going and we'll be right back once this water starts to boil okay now our water is coming to a boil we have our oil and our water boiling 
I like to stir a little bit to help the oil and water mix. I have my timer set at five minutes because we're going to boil for about three to five minutes. So I want to cut my stove back just a little bit to bring the boil to a slow cauldron. We don't want it to overboil. Now that I have my bases, I want to put those in the pot. And with my spoon, I want to stir. I got 26 bases in here. I want to stir them. Move them around a bit because we don't want them to stick. So we got the Invisa base in there somewhere. I'm trying to find it without putting my face over the stove. And until I do, I won't know what it's doing. So I'm going to grab one of these Total Team Control bases and look at it and ex examine it. Doesn't look bad at all. Okay. Want to stir, keeps continue to stir. So we're about a minute into the boil. Let's see what we got going on here. Trying to find the Invisa base. Because it's clear plastic, it's not showing up in my boil. And I think I have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Invisa base melted. It's right here stuck on my spoon. The Invisa base was not successful in the boil. That's why I didn't find it. The Invisa base is there. I'm going to let this cool off and I'm going to show this to you later. Later in the video. Okay, so I have those three rookie bases that are not frosties in the boil as well. I'm going to take those out and I'm going to look and inspect the prongs. Prongs don't look bad at all. Okay, I'm going to move these bases around, continue to stir. So as you can see, my boil is doing well. There's no splashing. It's not messy at all. So we got, we're three minutes. Got three minutes left into the boil. So it's no sense of keeping you guys here to watch water boil. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're down to our last 24 seconds in our boil according to our timer. Let's take a look and see what we got. Make sure no, no damage has been done. Okay. Prongs look good. The frame of the base looks good. My rookie base, it looks good. Five seconds. Timer is ended. Okay, we're good. So now, over to our sink, <clears throat> I'm going to run some hot water and dish detergent, and I have my strainer. I'm going to set the strainer in the sink with my dish detergent and water. I'm going to continue to stir. I'm going to slow our heat a little bit. So we're going a little bit beyond five minutes. These frosty bases can take it, so don't worry. The only base only base that didn't survive this boil was the Invisa base. And we're going to talk about that base later. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to pull our pot from the stove. And we're going to move over to the sink where the water is running. We're now at the sink. We're now going to take our finished boiled bases and we are going to set our bases into our soapy water. 
I'm going to pour the oil and everything into the water, like so, into the strainer. Now here is where the bases are going to get their bath. We want to rinse off any excess oil that's left on our pot, cool it off. Okay. Set our pot over there. And our Invisa base, this is what came of it. This is what became of it. It shrunk. We'll talk more about this base later. We have our strainer and our base and our bases here. Let me rinse them off for you a little bit get the soap away from it so you can see it. Okay. Got to clean off the excess oil that's on the base. I'm going to move them around a bit. So I got, got some hot water in this sink. I don't have my gloves on so I'm just going to tap them around a bit. That water's hot. You can wear rubber gloves if you have them. I got them here but didn't put them on. <clears throat> so we have almost a finished product. Let's see if I can find my rookie bases here. Where did I put those at? Where are they? This base it boiled rather well. Rinse it off a bit. So base boiling it's not difficult. It's rather easy. It's clean and it's safe. So we're not done yet. We now have to set these bases out and let them dry. We've cleaned and rinsed our bases in the sink. Now it's time to lay the bases out on our paper towel. I have a little plastic, uh, small plastic tarp that came, that came in some packaging that I had from something I bought and I use it as a tray to help me carry my bases because we're not going to keep the bases here in our kitchen we're going to take them someplace else and let them sit out and when you put these bases out you don't want to put them out you know in a place where you know you're going to have company or if you got little kids you know kids come by and put things in their mouths or if you got a cat you know a cat will get your bases smack them around so we're going to take our boiled bases and we're going to lay them out. You lay the base with the prongs facing toward the ceiling because remember these prongs are very soft right now and you don't want to uh, bend them prematurely. So we lay these down. See we want to let the base dry because you know if you tweaked it now the prongs haven't settled yet moreover they'll make a mess in your board because they'll streak water and oil if they were to run on your board so we lay these bases out So all these bases, they did well in the boil. You know, you can't boil any kind of base. As you can see with, the, with that Invisa base, the Invisa base had melted. Some plastics are more resilient in boiling water than others. And here's the Invisa base again. There's the front prong, and pretty much it fused to the body of the uh, base itself. So we're going to lay that there. 